Avetios by Elvete. Hope you paid attention to that because I'm only going to say the album title once. It's the 2012 album by Elvete. Now, I only say it once because I bastardize enough languages that aren't English, and I bastardize English enough that I really don't want to draw the scorn of my foreign friends, not to mention also insult potentially the band or any of its fans or those close to it by just bastardizing the language. Now, Levete has been a band that's been around for a um, good portion of the 2000s and has been really distinguished as the new wave of folk metal. And this is a band that has slowly but surely, with each passing album, grown a lot of uh, momentum and has developed a wider and wider fan base that has reached the states and has actually started to grow. In fact, there's been a really large folk metal explosion in the United States in recent years, with bands such as Einsaferum and uh, uh, Moon Sorrow as well, also uh, Trollhammer and others, gaining a lot of popularity. Sorry that I'm struggling to think of names, it's just that there's such a wide breadth that there are a lot that are very well respected over here. In fact, many of those that I have named are perhaps still in the infancy stages of their true popularity in the States. Elvati, however, is a little bit different. This is a band where, whenever they release albums, there is actually a populace here in America that get very, very excited. And myself included, I, I really passed up an opportunity to uh, review their last album, and I feel very bad about that because it was a very, very great affair. Uh, however, with this album here, they are embarking on a concept album, which most of their concepts are going to involve old legends and things like that, which is very folk, obviously. It's something that's become kind of a folk staple for a lot. Uh, Amorphous is one that's very popularized for that with their folk-ish uh, uh, concepts and releases that are geared around uh, their legends from their cultures. So there's a lot of culture in these releases whenever they are uh, put out and whenever they are carefully written by these bands. Now the songwriting on this album and the overall representation that you're going to get is a very, very nice affair. One thing that you have to really enjoy about folk music is that it is something that embodies and really rep uh, replicates tradition uses old traditional instruments. It's not something that is really uh, destroyed or, 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 or disheveled by the bare-bones basics that a metal band should have. It's something that adds additional instruments. It's uh, somebody, or something that really adds a lot of other people, a lot of other somebodies, to go with the word that I accidentally said. And it's a band that is trying to tie together the past, the present, and the future through the power of legend, the power of storytelling, and the power of music. This is almost like something that you would see in the old country, something where all of the legends were not necessarily all told in the form of just a regular story that was told around a fire, but also told through song. Now, the album itself, it's a lengthy affair as far as tracks are concerned. It's 17 tracks. However, it only eclipses the 55-minute mark, so these are quick tracks. However, they are all progressing the story uh, very, very nicely. And this has some very beautiful moments on it. This is almost like a, uh, a gigantic soundtrack to a movie, and, and it's almost as though uh, this is sort of resemblant to uh, Imaginarium by Nightwish, where you could almost wish that there was a film that was attached to this, because this, you know, it has a very epic feel to it, and you really uh, link up with the emotions, you know, you really feel it deep inside you, and, you know, it resonates within you, and that's something that's very powerful about uh, this folk metal band and their abilities. They have a real aptitude for connecting with uh, the audience, and this is no exception. This is a great album that's full with, uh, you know, great guitar work, the old, you know, the usage of the uh, elder instruments or the flutes, you know, your woodwinds, your classic instruments uh, are just very well executed. And the vocals, there is a tremendous, tremendous range here, not to mention also a great blend of both deathy and clean vocals, male and female. Overall, this is an album that really, its highest boast is the fact that there is a variety on here, even though it does stick with one centralized theme, and even though it is a central concept album. Its boast is also just the fact that it's so well uh, put together. The dynamacy is all very, very well done. Uh, not to mention the songwriting is just a skilled craft that this band has really tapped into and has tapped into very well. They're almost on a proverbial musical gold mine with what they have right here. They have plenty of uh, material to go off of 
and they carefully craft it, and that's something that you have to really respect about a band like this. The execution is very well done. It's not something that I would call flawless. Sometimes it does feel that this can drag a little bit, but that's with anything. These guys are trying to tell a story, and not all stories are going to be gripping from start to finish, but these guys do their damnedest. This is a solid 8.0 out of 10. I really enjoyed this album. A Rose for a Pony is just a fucking phenomenal song. One that I highly recommend for anybody who's maybe a first-time listener to this band to kind of get your feet wet. Overall, though, this album would be a very good album for first-time fans, simply because it does embody what this band has been capable of doing for quite some time now. So, for all of you out there, Elvete, if you haven't checked them out yet, definitely do so. This is an interesting folk band that you should certainly investigate upon, and this is an album that's a very good place to uh, really begin if you're a new fan, or continue your journey if you're an elder fan. 2012 is definitely a strong time to get into this band, or to maintain your loyalty. Thank you very much, Cover Killer Nation, and I'll see you guys with the next review.